Well, hello, hello, everyone, everyone. How's everybody doing? It's Tuesday, 2 p.m. Pacific time here in Tucson, Arizona. I'm Carol Rundell, and hi, everybody. How y'all doing today? It's a fabulous day, isn't it? It's a great day to praise God and live in all his promises and just be blessed in everything that we're doing. So I want to welcome you to Periscope. And if you've never been here before, wow, you're in for an exciting treat. Um, the way this works is that you can type in any comments or questions that you have and I'll be able to see them and answer them. If you like what I'm saying, you can tap on the screen and that'll show little hearts, which are always fun, but that lets me know that I'm connecting and communicating with you. And did you know you can also give hearts if you're watching the replay? Pretty cool, huh? And also, if you would like to invite your friends, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, invite your friends. Um, there's a little place on your screen where you can go to Twitter and invite all your followers. So. I'd really be glad to have them here. All righty, tips for incorporating your faith into your business. Can you believe we're on number seven already? We've been doing this for seven weeks now. I think that's so awesome. Today's topic is, let me, there we go. No fear. We don't want any fear in our lives. And I'm gonna put this camera stand down here and see if that makes it a little bit better. I'm sorry for all this. Not really, it doesn't do too much. So let's go here. We're gonna talk about how to get rid of fear in our lives. But the first thing we wanna see is if fear is holding you back. You know, a teacher of mine once said that fear is sand in the machinery of life. And I'm sorry for this. I should have had this set up better to start with. I thought I did. Now, okay, you can see it. It's a little bit better. So fear is the sand in the machinery of life. And why is that? It's because it mucks everything up and it brings things to a standstill. So question for today is, is fear destroying your business or preventing you from starting a business? Now, you've probably heard this saying, fear is false evidence appearing real, F-E-A-R. Well, actually that's not very true because usually fear is very real. And when we try to deny that it exists, then we're just holding down our emotions and we're, we're not solving anything. We're just pushing it farther down and pushing it farther down. And you know what usually happens when, when you push things down long enough is they explode, usually at the worst time. So let's not try to deny that it exists. We're gonna acknowledge it so that we can deal with it. So now let's look at what the Bible says about fear. And we're gonna start in the book of Job. And most people are familiar with the story of Job. And in Job, um, I didn't even put the scripture reference, but this, this first one is from the first chapter. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. Now, he's, they've said them a few times in here. Who is them? Well, Job will answer that question for you. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Yeah. What was going on was that Job had sons and daughters, and he was feeling in his heart that his children had sinned and were cursing God in their hearts. So what he was doing was he was making sacrifices on their behalf. He was filled with fear about what was going to happen to his children, so he was trying to do the sacrifices for them. The problem with trying to do things for other people is that it doesn't work. If a person is convinced in their hearts and therefore has a behavior resulting from that, somebody else is not going to make that change. The person themselves has to come to a realization and then repent. And repent simply means to change your ways. So let's go back to Job. 
In chapter 3, verse 25, Job says, For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Wow pretty, pretty intense. And it's, it shows us the basics of fear. If fear is like faith in reverse. You're going to get what you fear. What Job feared came upon him. It's, it's one of the laws of the universe that God set up. Like faith brings results. Fear brings results. And Obviously, fear does not bring very good results. So let's look a little bit more in the Bible in the book of Hebrews. And in Hebrews 2, 14 and 15, it says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he, and this is referring to Jesus Christ, also himself likewise took part of the same. Why? That through death, he might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. Wow, this is a very interesting. How many times have you heard people say that God causes death? That God took a person because he wanted another little angel or a rose in heaven? That God is the one who causes death. This verse says very specifically that it is the devil who has the power of death. Wow. Verse, and deliver them. So Jesus Christ, through his death, delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. What fear does, it creates bondage. It ties us up so that we can't do the things that we want to do. We can't do the things that we know God has called us to do. That's what fear does. That's why it's sand in the machinery of life. And we also know from this verse that it doesn't come from God. That's good to know. Well, let's look at 2 Timothy 2, I'm sorry, 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. It shows us that fear does not come from God. So if we are experiencing fear in our lives, we know, first of all, this is not from God. So if it's not from God, we can get rid of it because Jesus Christ, according to the verse we read in Hebrews, defeated it. He defeated fear. He defeated the devil. So what happens when you're dealing with fear? Well, let's go back. Fear will produce fruit in our lives just like faith does. It leads to bondage and it is not from God. Oops, not ready for about fear a little bit. Okay, so are there any specific fears that you have in your life that are interfering with your business? Such as, um, let's say you're, you're wanting to start a business but you're afraid. What are you afraid of? You're usually afraid of failing. And some people are even afraid of succeeding because, well, how will that change my life? How will that impact my family? What will my friends think of me if I become this, this successful business person? So a lot of times what people will do is they will self-sabotage. They will do things that will prevent them from succeeding in business. So if you're in this situation, what I would do is recommend that you write down a list of all your fears, whether they are rational or not, everything, write them down so that you can confront them. So you can go through it line by line and pray about it and ask the Father what is causing this and how to get rid of it. And then you have the power to send it away. Say, no fear, you do not have any right in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I send you away. Okay, you send it away, then what happens when five minutes later it comes right back? You send it away again. This is kind of like dealing with forgiveness. Is You keep sending it away until the period of time when it comes back gets farther and farther apart till eventually it's gone forever. But realize that you have authority to use the name of Jesus Christ and to tell fear to leave. 
So does anybody have any questions about what we've talked about, about fear? Okay, what about fear when you currently have a business? Is this a fear of growing your business to the next level? Is it a fear of letting go if you hire employees or independent contractors to help you? Are you somebody who wants to, to just be hands-on and everything, but you can't grow because of that, so you know you have to hire, but you're afraid? Again, write down all these fears. Rational, irrational, doesn't matter. And then go to God. He has the solution for all of us. We don't have to live in fear. Jesus Christ defeated fear at the cross. And his finished work is what we get to live in right now. So I encourage you not to let fear bring you down, interfere with your business, your marriage, your family, your relationships, your friends, anything in your life. Acknowledge that fear exists and then send it away in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, next faith. What is faith? You know, I've had a lot of people uh, comment to me recently on social media when I talk about faith and they respond with the word religion. Do you think faith and religion are the same thing? I think a lot of people do think that. I personally do not. So that's what we're going to talk about next week is faith. So in the meantime, share this with your friends. Let them know that every Tuesday at 2 o'clock Pacific time, I am sharing about incorporating your faith into your business, how to live powerfully in a fallen world. So in the meantime, have a great week, everybody. God bless, and we'll talk next week.